Welcome back to Conversations with Archbishop Kurtz. Boy, we had a, a great interview with Morney McAllister at our first segment. Uh, I have a special guest uh, for us uh, to uh, have an interview with, and, and that is Father Chuck Walker. Father Chuck, thank you so much for, for your presence here. I'm going to tell everybody a little bit about your history, That's and then scary. we'll get. <laughs> this, well, it's <laughs> delightful. Right. But, but uh, I think people will be amazed at this. Uh, first of all, ordained in 1981, you're from the Catholic Holy Land. You're from you Loretta, Kentucky, right? Yes. And proud of it. Mm -hmm. um, here's a, I, I found this very interesting, that Father Chuck, you served in the Southern Kentucky Missions. Eight years. Eight years, all the way down along mm -hmm. near the Burksville. Tennessee border. Uh, then uh, became pastor of St. Uh, Pius X. Thirteen years. At Thirteen years. Uh, then uh, serving at St. Polycarp and St. Clement's, uh, especially when there was the movement into the new St. Uh, Peter the Apostle. Pastor of St. James in E-Town for six years, along with uh, St. Ignatius in White Mills and St. Cecilia in St. Ambrose. That's a mouthful, but, but you, you've been in every place. You've had such a great pastoral presence. And now, uh, this year, full-time as the first full-time uh, priest pastoral minister at the University of Louisville. So we're, we're, we're just delighted. Uh, give us an overview. Tell us a little bit what it's been well, like this first year. I'm not the first. It's probably been more than 25 years oh. since there was a full, there were full-time chaplains. I think Jim Hackett might have, Father Jim Hackett might have been the last. Father oh. Bob Ray was before him. Okay, but so, there's a gap of about, yes, 25, about 25 years, years. now. And, and I so know Father Lou has Father been Lou as part-time. Father has been Very there uh, mainly in voluntary, uh, voluntary role for many, many years, 16 years, I think. And uh, so it's an honor to be there. Uh, overview, um, I feel like uh, campus ministry is a, it's, it's a lot of, a, it is a vocational ministry. Mm -hmm. um, vocation in the, in the huge in sense. In the wide sense, yes. yes. Of church, even a, church vocation of, right. of every baptized person. Right. Huh? We have um, uh, one of the fellows who came through uh, uni uh, University of Louisville Catholic Campus Ministry is, uh, is, was ordained in March. Uh, Sean McKinley, Deacon oh, Sean McKinley. Oh, hooray, yeah, that's a, that's a, uh, through a there. But gift. then also there's also fellows and uh, men and women both who are youth ministers and DREs and very, very active folks in, uh, in uh, Catholic parishes, not just in Louisville, but wherever they go home to. And uh, a lot of that has happened at the University of Louisville, and they're keeping in contact with the faith. That's good. At, That's uh, wonderful. At the uh, University of Louisville. So, and, and, and Father Chuck, you can talk about programs, but really when all is said and done, just like any place we are, it's your presence, isn't it? Your presence with individual students. And tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> That's, it's been a lot of fun, Archbishop. I, I really do thank Didn't you. did you do some blessings of, oh, of yes. dorms? Well, yeah. <laughs> On the uh, days when the freshmen were moving in, we had uh, H2 Oli water. Uh, st uh, out, in, uh, out in the front porch of the uh, Interface Center uh, with, uh, they could bring their own water bottle and take home a blessing and uh, a holy water with them. And I went to a few dorm rooms and uh, blessed their rooms there. But a lot of it just getting out. I mean, uh, we, uh, we had to raise some money for uh, an interfaith uh, trip to uh, Birmingham oh, for a, a spring break to work with Habitat for Humanity down there. Right. And uh, with, in the cold weather, while everybody else was kind of trying to rush by us, we were trying to pass out hot chocolate and coffee to students and, and faculty and staff folks on the way and ask for donations to get to the trip. But uh, it, it really just builds all a kind sense of, things. of community. It is. And, it right built, with, we, it, and, and you're not right in the center. We are, yes, of, we of are just down. If the student activity building, it has a long ramp that goes up into the, to the building. In our building, the Interface Center, where we work from, is right at the foot of that ramp. And uh, you know, I could throw a rock even though I don't want to. I don't, sure. like, I don't, I don't like breaking windows. But uh, there's a, 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 the two dorms that are just you know, right across the parking lot, just 100 yards away. I know you're most. also very much like many campuses that are growing, like the University of Louisville. There's many, many more Catholics, uh, Catholic students. And you're, you're forming a kind of a unique relationship with our Mother of Sorrows, which is also right. a very beautiful yes. thing. Tell us a right. little bit about it. Well, and, and you live. I get to live there, yeah? which is nice, okay. uh, very nice accommodations. Uh, but also, um, uh, we just started at the beginning of the, this uh, spring semester. Uh, every other week, I will preside and preach at the 10 o'clock Mass, and we're trying to promote that to the Catholic students uh, in the neighborhood and on the campus that uh, this is a, 
uh, both at our Mother of Sorrows Mass and the University of Louisville Mass. Yeah, that's uh, kind of healthy, isn't it? Because yes. you're, you're, in a sense, both for the good of the parish, you're, you're inviting young people to come. And right, for the, and they're the living people. all over the place. You know, sure, the, exactly. Right I just saw some, some housing going up, uh, I guess, east of... of right uh, there, yeah, route, Crittenden so, Drive and, exactly, route, and route Eastern 64. Parkway. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, in many ways, uh, we've been blessed, blessed with uh, Sarah Fellows and the work. And I know you were also right. a pastor. Right. She commutes all the way right. uh, back and forth from E-Town. Uh, but you are full-time. As you said, you're not the first, but you're right. the first in 25 years. Right. Uh, what advantage has that been as you work together, the, the fact that you now are, have a full-time presence? Well, she's the pro, I'm the rookie. That's okay. one thing, right, right. <laughs> yes. I mean, she's been there, uh, at the end of this uh, semester, it'll be 15 years. So, and, I, wow. and so it'll make only one year for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot, and she is very, very capable. Uh, worked very well with uh, Father Lou Maimon for all 14 of those years, and I think he was there two oh. years before. But uh, she, is, uh, she is great to work with. Uh, she and I are, are uh, like-minded, but also different-minded enough. We bounce off each other and complement each other well. Uh, both uh, she, her attachment to the students and love of those students, everything is motivated by how can we love the students the best we can. Yeah. And, it, and it's wonderful. I mean, kind of getting it, it's catching. Yeah, it comes and, through. Right, I uh, had a, a, an interview earlier this year with one of the young adults who was involved. Right, yeah, Emily. And, and Emily, and she, uh -huh. she talked an awful lot and was a, was a great poster child, so to speak, right, for uh -huh. it. Uh, you know, in many ways, people who are listening say, might say, well, gee, college hates students. Uh, in some ways, uh, perhaps they're very secularized and, and maybe aren't thinking too much about their faith, and yet, we also see examples of young people who tend to be the most excited about their faith. Right. Probably there's a blend that you, you've discovered. What do you find as you look at, at both your individual uh, interaction with young people as well as the programs? What, what, the, what characterizes that? The students, I, find, I mean, they're, the ones that uh, we are most familiar with at, uh, at the Catholic Campus Ministry are enormously busy. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the workload uh, to get through uh, speed school or law school or whatever, whatever they're going to, uh, education, whatever school they're going through, I mean, it is enormous. Mm -hmm. So that their time for extracurriculars or even faith is, is very limited. But mm -hmm. I found them very, very hungry spiritually. Oh, and, it, and it's wonderful. I mean, we've, uh, we've started uh, just a little bit on programming. Uh, one of the first things we've done is, is um, normally on Saturday mornings, sometimes in, into Saturday afternoon, we'll do service things. We'll go like uh, on the second Saturday of the month, we'll go to the cathedral, have go to mass, walk down and pray the rosary of, oh, on good. the other side of the street from the abortion clinic, yes. and then walk back. We'll get a half dozen students maybe, oh, at, at, uh, and then we'll, get, well, a big thing is the Habitat for Humanities, would, uh, we got, and then St. Elizabeth Catholic Charities across the river. Sure, sure, from, in New Albany. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Doing uh, help for uh, uh, single mothers, yeah. and, uh, at, um, and then also going down to Cathedral and serving uh, bologna sandwiches and meals on uh, yeah. one Saturday. So, so the people who get involved and are that. kind of like the, the ye in a sense, the yeast, the leaven yes. that can have an effect on others. Yes, yeah. uh-huh. And, yeah. and one of the things at the cathedral just a few weekends ago, we had, uh, it was our turn to go down and there was a confirmation class from St. Lawrence that was there. And the admiration that those seventh and eighth graders had for those oh, great big college I could only imagine. I think freshmen. of myself in grade yes. school and how yeah. you admired just, I mean, they were role models. And, yeah. just, and just then they were right there. And one, one kid, he wanted this one great big ROTC boy to follow him around everywhere. He wanted to do everything. He was in his pocket the oh, whole right? right. three hours we were there. Well, so listen, great uh, we can, I can hear through your voice the excitement. It's very exciting. And um, 
it's sacrificial because uh, you you are back into your teen years again, you know? <laughs> which is wonderful. I don't know if it's making me younger or older. No, I'm no, sure. no, it's younger. It's younger. So thanks. You know, you're Thank you're, you. you're universally admired, and we're thanks. really grateful for your presence. Thanks for giving us a little bit of an insight. I hope uh, on the screen we might be able to just put a little information for anybody who wants to know more oh, about Catholic great. campus ministry at the University of Louisville. That'd be super. Uh, Ch Father Chuck, thanks for being here. It's an honor to and be here. Thank you all, the, the viewing audience, for uh, being with us. And please stay tuned for the final episode of uh, this month's edition of Conversations with Archbishop Kurtz. <laughs>